Amen. Praise the Lord. Come from Exodus second chapter in the first verse. It says, And there was a man of the house of Levi and took to wife a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a godly child, she hid him three months. And when she could no longer hide him, she took for him an ark of burrow rushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein and she laid it in the flags by the river's bank and his sister stood afar off to wit would be done to him glory be to god and it says amen when she seen the child was a goodly child. Amen. She seen something, hallelujah, upon her child. She seen something different upon her child. Hallelujah. She seen something different, amen. Hallelujah. About this baby. And hallelujah, we know this baby was Moses. My God, my God. But as I begin to read this and begin to just meditate this and ponder it and just look at it, glory be to God. I see here, hallelujah, my God, my God. God, that God is orchestrating, amen, your move. God is orchestrating, amen, our, hallelujah, our direction, amen. He is leading us. He's guiding us, amen, according to his will and according to his purpose. No matter what God is telling you to do, no matter how strange it may seem to you, amen, just be obedient, amen, and walk it out. Just be obedient, amen, and do it, hallelujah. God ways is not our ways, neither his thoughts are thoughts, hallelujah. As far as the heaven is from the earth, so are the ways of God from our ways. And she hid this child, glory be to God. And when she could no longer hear him, the Bible says she put him, hallelujah, in a basket and put him in the glory be to God, in the water, glory be to God, hallelujah. And his sister, amen, washed the four off to see where this child would land. And we know the story how this child landed, hallelujah, in the hands of Pharaoh's, hallelujah, my God, my God, hallelujah, in the hands of Pharaoh, hallelujah, in the hands, glory be to God, my God, my God, hallelujah, he landed in Pharaoh's palace, my God, and it said that when he was drawn from the water, amen, glory be to God, she knew that it was a Hebrew child, hallelujah, she knew that there was a Hebrew child, so she she sent for a Hebrew woman to come and take care of this child, amen, and his own mother, amen, was the one that took care of Moses, hallelujah, and reared him up until he was weaned and brought back, amen, to Pharaoh's palace, hallelujah, my God, my God, God had already wrote the script. God had already orchestrated, amen, his plan. Know that God has a plan for our lives. God has a plan for your life, amen. We have to do our part, amen. Look upon the things. See God in everybody. See God in everything that you do. Even in your children, see God, hallelujah. In your grandchildren, see God. When you see the hand of God upon their life, amen, see God what you are to do to protect them, what you are to do to lead and guide them, hallelujah that they don't fall in the hands and the snares and the traps of the enemy. Hallelujah. She's seen the hand of God upon Moses and she said, I got to do what I what I have to do, amen, to protect him, hallelujah, by any means necessary, and we all know the story of Moses, hallelujah, but what I want to encourage somebody by the way of this YouTube, hallelujah, but be it not strange, amen, with the leading of the Holy Ghost, however God is leading you, however God is guiding you, amen, concerning your children, concerning your, your grandchildren, hallelujah, you are being used by God to protect them, hallelujah, to lead and guide them, hallelujah, so that they may be meet for the master use, so that God can use them and fulfill the purpose that's within inside of them, amen, we got a part to play, God uses us, hallelujah, amen, Amen. To help prepare, amen, this generation and a generation to come. Hallelujah. He is instructing you to teach them. Hallelujah. And live the life before them. And we know that Moses was called out, amen, to be a great leader. He led the children of Israel out of bondage. Hallelujah.